All right, guys. So I went to pick up an auction haul. I won an online estate auction. I only won three lots, which for me is really low. But I stopped at three thrift stores on the way home. I stopped at a Goodwill and two little local thrift stores. And I think I will make thousands of dollars in profit off of what I found. So let's take a look. So I'm going to show you the haul. I did not record a video inside of the stores because Dalton was with me and he was not a happy camper. So unfortunately for me, it is very difficult to record inside the store unless I leave Dalton at home with daddy because he is two and he just wants to go. So it's hard to record. So I'm going to show you in my truck what I got from these thrift stores, including Goodwill. One was a Scherf's Ranch. I don't say that right. Make fun of me if you want to. My husband does. And also uh, Keith Thrift Training Center. If you are from Florida, some of these might be familiar to you. And obviously Goodwill is nationwide. So we will take a look at what I got as well as my auction haul, which was not very many things. And if you see screenshots pop up, those are my listings. I did list these myself and those are my prices. So I hope you guys enjoy this. All right, guys, so we are outside. We are going to do a haul video. Wanted to show you first because this wasn't for resale, but I got this cool fish tank. I think it's probably like a 30, maybe a 40 gallon, but it's got the LED strip and we have axolotls maybe i'll put a little clip in of them and they have gotten too big for the 10 gallon tank so i got that and then brad already took one other thing out of the truck so first i want to show you this hole this hole i have band-aids on them be glad it looks rough one of these armadillo holes it like it's like landmines in my yard and I was carrying stuff in yesterday and I tripped and I sliced, well, lost a chunk of skin out of my palm and then it cut right through my finger and my fingernail, whatever I landed on, I'm not sure. All because of that armadillo. If anybody has a cure for that, I mean, I'm, I can try and trap him. That's probably what I should do. But yeah, I tripped and cut myself off. Actually, all he's painting it for me. I stuffed too much stuff in the trunk and I scraped paint off of it. So I asked Brad to fix it. And I think Wicker Furniture sells her quite a bit of money, surprisingly. So I'm hoping that I can get $250 for this. I paid $105 or $102 for the lot. And I'm going to show you the other items in it and why I paid so much. And I ordered <laughs> boxes to stock up the shed. And they have come. So, we still have our clean laundry room. But, the clean laundry room has boxes in it. So, I've got to get those moved to the shed. We are going to get this stuff unpacked. I'm going to show you what I got. I did go to... I'll give you a little Dalton footage here while I'm talking. I did go to a... <laughs> I did go to a Goodwill... And at two thrift stores, I spent about $300 and I spent $150 on the auction haul. So let's take a look. All right. So Brad took out the fish tank and the desk that were already in here. And I'm going to show you guys the rest of the stuff. I got these from the auction and I'm not sure if it was a mistake or not. I think they're pretty cool though. They're like hand woven with beads. Um, they're just like stainless steel china. There's no name brand. So I'm hoping I can keyword these right. And there were four serving and then like, these are almost like little like hors d'oeuvre um, sets. So I am, I paid 20 bucks. I might've paid too much on so those. Helping me. These I got at the first thrift store. This was a Scherf's Ranch thrift store and I really liked it. Um, these are vintage ice skates and they're in really good condition. I looked them up and 
I'm hoping I can get about $75. They were $15, but they had a spin a wheel thing, and we got 30% off of that. So they were just about 10 bucks. And I didn't realize like these are actually protectors. So they have blades under there. So hopefully I can get 75 on this those. little puppy. I think these were like a dollar. So really they were 85 cents. This is a Build-A-Bear puppy, Promise Pets. And I figured for a dollar, I would try it. These I got for my lights. All right, stuff. so I got those for my kitchen light. And then these, I actually just sold these exact salt and pepper shakers for $20. I paid, I think a dollar each for these, but that's okay. Um, two bucks and then the 30% off. And I should be able to just copy my listing, which is pretty cool. So that should be about a $15 profit on those. I'm just stacking this and then I'm gonna take stuff out of this and go list. So hopefully you're seeing comps on the screen. These looked like they had decent comps. Um, I didn't see that mark. Hopefully I can get that off. But other than that, these are in great condition. And these, as you see, are made in Sweden. The brand of this is Skane Toffeln. I've never seen these, but that patent leather clog type kind of stuck out to me. Those were $4. And all of this stuff, again, was 30% off of whatever the price it says. And then next. Let's see. More of those lights. I got these girls. And these are growing up. You can see they are from 1981. This one is six. And I think there were two six. They are porcelain. There are two sixes. And then... There was also a five and a four. And so what I'm thinking on these is that I'll lot the four, the five, and one six up for $30. And then I'll sell the other six separate. But they look like they sold okay. And I think they charged me a um, dollar, so 70 cents for each of this these. This is going to kind of go randomly because I got different stuff from different places and had to just pile it all in. But this was part of that $100 wicker lot. I might have Brad try to touch this paint up like he's doing on the desk. And this is just a magazine holder. This one, there were six pieces in that $100 lot. So, I mean, really, I'm... If you want to be technical, close to $20 a piece in. But this one should sell for about $45 or so. I'm counting on getting all my money back on the desk and then everything else being profit. This was from a different thrift store, so these did not have discounts. I believe this one, this one is wood. It was made in Japan. It, I'm not sure if it's Mary or if it's just another figure or a nun possibly praying, but I paid two fifty dollars for that. I Maybe $20 to $30. I'm going to look for Google Lens. This stuff I picked up without um, comping. I just was blind picking up most of this. And then this Thai Beanie Baby, just because it had the little flag, um, and he's one of the bigger ones, I did pick him up. I feel like that's like the Ralph Lauren tag. But I don't know. Anyways, he was, I think, a dollar and I should get like 10. I'm random sometimes like that. Most times I do try to stay more. So these look like they were selling for about 15 to $20. And I paid five for these. And the nice thing is they're in the original boxes. These are more girls. It's so funny because I haven't found any girls with numbers like those other ones. And now... Look, this is a 14, and then it does have still the hang tag for the Christopher collection. These are left in China, hand-painted, from 1983, so they are vintage. And the other one is a Now we are back to the 30% off. I don't think this guy had a tag. I want to say they charged me a dollar, so I paid 70 cents for these. And I don't know. He says 1993. Um... 
Let's see. Oh, that's why I picked him up. This guy is International Silver Company from 1993. So he probably, I don't know what he came with, but paid 70 cents for him. I did not look this up again in this thrift store. I had no service. So this one I paid $3 for. So close to $2 with my 30% off. This is Cirrus C3 Plasma Biotechnology. Normally if these don't have a tag, which this does not, I, I have no clue what this is worth. Maybe you're seeing up on the screen, but this was made in Italy, distributed by Flagioli. So we will see what that is worth. And then this is my mom's iron that my mom puts stuff in my bags and I just buy all of her stuff when she's at the thrift store. This is also my mom's for my niece. Next, this is a home medics with heat. Everything is in the box. It has the box, which is nice. I did pay $5. I'll see if I can get that off. Um, it should get about 20 to $25 for that, but they sell really fast. And then I got this little copper pot. Most copper pots are decent. Um, I do have the barkeeper's friend thing that Kevin recommends. I think it is here somewhere. I need to find it. And this one was made in Italy. That is one of the deciding factors for me. It was only three bucks and yeah. But what sucks is that was hand painted. It's wood, it's not metal, so I can't like shine that up, but I don't see a name or anything on this, just the Made in Italy, but I think I should be able to get at least $20 for that. And then this I did not look up. I need to kind of look it up with Google Lens to see if I can find it, but it is like one of the plug-in wax warmers. And Christmas does sell year-round, so don't think it doesn't. There is that. So I paid... I don't even know what I paid for this. I didn't see a price. Ah, I paid $4. So I should be able to get, like, I'm thinking 20 bucks on that. These things, and I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this. My grandma had one of these. They do sell for about 50 to 60 I will need to kind of like clean it up a little bit, but this is a kick step and they sell for 40 to 60 and I paid 10, but I thought I might be able to use this in the shed too, to step up and grab things. I'm not going to put that in my bin. It'll take up too much space. All right. This is more from the 30% off thrift. And then I'll show you those two wicker pieces. And then that side of the truck is full. This thing, I don't, I don't know what this thing is. Um, but it said Nick Jr. And I know a lot of Nick stuff does good. And she's big. Like, she's big. Um, paid $2 for her. So really $1.40. And this looked really cool to me. This is a, I think it's a llama. It's a llama or an alpaca. And it is stitched really nice. It's got its little eyeballs. And he was $2, so $1.40 as well. This little eat more chicken. I had one of these and it sold for like 10 bucks. So like I could not. And I probably paid 50 cents. This Belky Bear was $4, so um, actually $2.80 because of the discount. It is from 2019, so it is not vintage, but it looks like they're selling for $20 to $25, and the sell-through rate is really good on those. I cannot pass up a sloth <laughs> without getting it, because I think sloths are cute. This is a Build-A-Bear workshop sloth. I don't know if it'll be valuable, but I'd say I can get at least 10 to 15 bucks for them. These, I don't know if they're worth anything. Dalton wanted them, so these really, and the crazy thing is it was $3, but Dalton had to have the turtle, so 
Oh, and we'll probably take the turtle. And then this little giraffe is actually one of like the pull, like where you pull it. And this is Dakin. So I'm going to look this up. We're going to a baby shower tomorrow. If this isn't worth a whole bunch, I might put that in my baby shower stuff. And you'll see here in a minute, I have more baby shower stuff. This is another Dalton through this puppy, Douglas the puppy, into my cart. Dalton, do you want your turtle and your puppy? Do you want them? Here's your puppy you got. Here. He thinks I mean the real puppies. He's playing with the dog. Um, this guy. It reminded me of Lilo and Stitch. But he's Animal Jam by Fiesta. You're coming. You're coming. Okay. Yeah. Here is your puppy that you liked. You don't want him? Da, he... da, da. Oh my gosh. Show me your hands. No, that's not yours. That's for baby Carson. And look at your hands. Look at those hands. Go back. Go. You don't need to touch anything right now. So this is Animal Jam. I will look that up. And then, this one again is Build-A-Bear. Some of these Build-A-Bears can be worth a lot. I don't know if this Rainbow Kitty is worth a lot. But I paid like 70 cents for her. All right, so yeah. in my stuffing haste of filling the truck, I ruined this lampshade. So this little, this is actually a wicker lamp. I haven't looked it up. I'm thinking maybe 25, 30 bucks, maybe more. Um, but it will not go with the shade because I poke stuff through it. And then this little wicker wall shelf was also in that wicker lot. And this should go for about 40 bucks. Oh, it's like sitting right in front of my face. This is a Young Living Essential Oils backpack. It is brand new. Nothing has been taken out of here. I paid $4 for this and it has a lot of, uh, not a lot, but it has a good sell-through rate for 40 bucks. So that should be over a $30 profit there. All right, so the Goodwill haul will start here because this is all Goodwill. I spent almost $200 at this Goodwill. So let's take a look. First, these are pants, sleepy pants for us. Those are not for resell. And then this baby, it's not baby, it's a baby onesie for the baby shower tomorrow. Okay, so you are gonna see some more of these. This is a Nike Golf XXL. It is new with tags. $40 on this one. I paid $7. You're going to see I got a lot of these Nike golf shirts. They had a lot. I got a lot. These are little onesies I got for the baby shower. This is a whale blanket I got for the baby shower. All right, and these wicker pieces that is stuffed in, I'll show you once we get everything out. So let's see. Here is another, this is like a maroon, another Nike golf shirt, dry fit, new with tags, XXL. There's another baby shower thing. Let's see. I didn't know if this was real or not. Maybe you guys could tell me. So this says Armani made in Italy. Red was 50% off, so I paid $2.50. I don't know if this is real Armani, but for $2, I figured I'd try. Then we have another XXL Nike golf shirt. This one, I'm not sure the difference, but this one's retail is $60. And again, $6.98. They are all XXL. I think I have some of the same colors, I hope. Maybe it's the print on that one that makes it more. They had a bunch, but I got them all. So this one is at $45 XXL. This one is just a solid white. 
And then I paid $50. This was a lot of my Goodwill bill here. This is Highlander. And it's seasons one through six. I paid 50 and I think I can get about 130 to 150 for that. And it has an excellent sell-through rate. And I did open and check all of the DVDs while I was there that's getting That's pushed. Cool. Couldn't find exact comps, but this is Wexford Anchor Hawking, and it is like a little serving. It has um, the creamer, the sugar, and a butter dish. So it is new in the box. I did open to make sure I paid $8 for that. I'm hoping I can get like 40 maybe 50 Dalton! Here are your shoes! And then we got these little flip-flops for Dalton for a whole three dollars. Here's your shoes. You found a rock? What? Let me see what that is. Don't put that in there. I think Dalton's picking peaches off of the peach tree is what's going on. Now he's going to bury it. All right. I'm putting your shoes in the bin. Oh, wait. Can you get it? Get it, get it, get it. The bag's flying away. Look, Dalton. You got it. Good job. All right. So, and I'd like, I'm random, but I thought somebody might like this. This says, this nurse loves the Broncos. And this one, again, is a 2XL. This was $4, but it was half off. Red tags were half off, so $2 for that Broncos sweatshirt. They had a lot of bigger people's clothing, which is different, because that's not generally how it is. This one, this one says, who's your daddy? It's like a green fleece. This, again, is a 2x and this is by big dogs polar dogs by big dogs dalton's just sitting hi this one i got for bread no impressive brand i just thought he would like it I did not look this up, but this looked expensive to me. Oh, and I'm throwing it on the ground. This one is Orvis, and it is a size small. So there is the pink Orvis, breakable from Goodwill. It's a little bud vase. I thought this was really cute. It was $3. I love pottery. You guys know that. They had more pottery, but they had it. I'm not sure. Um, this is not Goodwill. This is from the other little thrift store. This is a really pretty star pattern. Little bowl. I paid $1.50 for that. So at the little thrift store, I spent $47. I would have been 50, but I had a $5 off. I got this cute Puerto Penasco. What sucks is these suckers put, they write in Sharpie on the bottom of these things, but most of the time I can get it off. Where'd the bag go? And then this girl is friends. Some of these were selling okay. I couldn't find this exact one. So hopefully that will do good. And then this iron, I'll have to test. But it looks like it sold for like $35 to $40. And I paid $5 for this. $5. And this is an old um, GE Perm Press. So that one hopefully will right. work. So I got four pieces in this lot. I paid $20, so about five each. This one is cordon bleu. It's really pretty with the butterflies there, like a covered casserole. And I think I can get like 40 for that. This is a oval soup terrine. This one is by Rose China. The pattern is Emmy. I am not sure on that one. And then this bowl is kind of cool. It's basket weave on the outside, and then it's got 
the leaves. This one is Zariki Trellis and from Portugal. I did also, this jewelry was in my stuff and this is not my jewelry. That does sell well. I don't know how much it sold for, but I've got to contact the auctioneer because this accidentally fell in with my lots. And then last is this big platter. Ooh, I'm not sure. And son, I'm not sure about this one. I did not look this one up. There's another mark there. As this well. wicker stool came in the lot. I think I can get 45 to 50 for this. This will be easy to ship and it's light. And then the chair goes with the desk that I showed you guys at the beginning. So that'll go in. Hope, like I said, hopefully $250 for the wicker desk right. and a blast. Chair. Look at this cute bird. This is a wrought iron stand with four teacups, four saucers. These are a Pilco Portugal or porcelain from france so these cups are listed between 15 i saw them go up to almost 30 a piece just for the cup not even with the saucer i paid they were well they were listed at ten dollars and um i had the 30 percent off this is from that thrift store so i paid seven dollars for this and i think i can get i'm hoping close to two hundred dollars and then i found these in my car from the last haul this one is Lloyd's Ceramics. It's like a little terracotta ashtray. And this piece... Whoa, don't fall, birdie. Oh! I'm going to break $200 teacup. So I think this is a really cool piece. I think it's supposed to be an ashtray, but I'm not sure. But this is Des Desimone in Italy. So I, hopefully this one will go good. But that's a pretty cool piece. So I'm going to bring these two in. That one in. We have two full totes. And I'm going to see what I can get. With I hope it. you guys enjoyed my thrift haul and auction haul. Let me know down in the comments below what your favorite item was. And if you learned something new to look out for. I will see you guys on Friday with a big what's old video and i hope you learned a lot and i will see you on the next one bye guys dalton are you working yeah. yep dalton's loading up the tubes we just got our desk easy, easy job and i am putting some boxes in here also easy job